A roof collapses near O'Hare Airport and cars belonging to air travelers are crushed. It has happened at this location before. CBS2 investigator Dave Savini is here now with the tales on how authorities are taking action to protect future customers from any harm. Dave. Kate and Rob, it's a popular garage where travelers drop off their cars and get shuttled to the airport. But after at least two roof collapses, there are questions about the safety of passengers who walk under that roof daily. Just the whole thing has just been a nightmare. Lori Ravel is showing us the car she just bought. She had to get it because of what happened after she parked her other car at this garage near O'Hare. I paid extra for indoor parking. Last month, she paid Avastar for indoor and valet parking service, but came back from her trip to this. They took my ticket and said, we're really sorry, but um, the roof collapsed and your car was crushed. Covered in debris like this and a total loss. It looked as though a bomb went through the ceiling. A massive section of the roof caved in on February 7th, and Franklin Park officials say about 20 cars were caught under the rubble. The roof is still damaged. Caution tape is up along with temporary shoring to maintain what's left of the structure. It's the second roof collapse at this parking facility in five years. This picture is from a 2010 collapse. You believe this could be a dangerous situation for other travelers if this place continues to take cars? Well, I mean, clearly dangerous. Franklin Park Building Department officials say they told the business they can only use the outside portion of the lot and to stop parking cars inside or allowing customers to walk under the roof. The garage's own engineering report stated the structure is only temporarily stabilized. Despite a warning from engineers, we found them repeatedly taking cars and parking them in the inside portion of the lot. And they were not keeping travelers away from the potential danger. I got to ask you why you have cars in here when the roof collapsed. You're not supposed to be taking cars in here. The village shut this down. Nobody would answer our questions. Why are you taking cars? The they say it's unsafe and you're Can taking you cars. Can you tell me sir. why you're taking cars? Can you please here? leave the premises? They're putting people in harm's way. Barrett Peterson, the mayor of Franklin Park, took action when we told him what we found. They're totally violating what you told them. You know, you have to watch out for these types of businesses. Um, Sometimes profit motive is more important than safety, and that's not good. And you can be certain that citations will be issued. Since this is the second time that it's happened that we know, I, I definitely would not use them again. The village issued the new owners of the property, LNR Auto Park, with a citation for unsafe conditions, alleging vehicles were parked in an unsafe structure that was dangerous to public welfare. A company spokesman says they just bought the structure a few days before the recent collapse and that they don't want to put anyone at risk, so they're working with the village and claim three private engineers say that they hired that the structure is safe. So they're not going to take cars anymore, they say, until the village gives them the okay. Jeez. All right. All right. Yeah, Thank thanks. you, Dave.